Hello and welcome to another video by electricalpereview.com. In this episode, we're going to be covering synchronous machines example. We're looking for synchronous reactants X of S and terminal voltage E. The problem states, during an open circuit test, the line voltage of a synchronous generator reaches rated line voltage of 13.8 kV when the excitation current reaches 75 amps. During the short circuit test, the stator current is measured to be 700 amps. Determine the synchronous reactance per phase and the terminal voltage if three 25 ohm resistors are Y connected as a load. Okay, first things first, reading this through, this means that this 13.8 right here is going to be our line to line voltage. Next, the stator current during the short circuit test, that's going to be our I short circuit. And next, it's asking for first the synchronous reactance per phase. Don't let the per phase get you. So that's X of S per phase. And the terminal voltage if three 25 ohm resistors are connected in a load. Okay, first things first, always draw our equivalent circuit diagram. Here's our generator, our synchronous generator. Here is our synchronous reactance. And next, the terminals are going to be left open first. Now, since this problem is asking for X of S per phase, that means this right here has to be our neutral. And up here, this is going to be our phase. So that means that our 13.8 kV, our line to line, has to be divided by the square root 3. And this gives us a line to neutral value of 7,967 volts. We're going to call that E. Oh. Okay, next to find our synchronous reactance, we know that synchronous reactance can be found by dividing our line to neutral voltage EO by our short circuit current from our short circuit test. So we found EO to be 7,967 volts. And from the problem, we know that I short circuit equals 700 amps. We divide these two and we come up with our synchronous reactance equals 11.4 per phase. That means this guy right here is going to be equal to J 11.4. Okay, real quick, that looks like a negative sign. That's really just an equal sign. Perfect. Okay, next, problem says three resistors are connected in Y as a load of 25 ohms. Why is Y important? Well, we know that for I systems, sorry, for Y systems, our line current is going to equal our phasor current, IN. So let's go ahead and connect our load resistor right here. And this is going to be 25 ohms. 25 ohms. Okay, so now we want to find this current which is going to be I n. So we know that I n can be found as voltage over impedance. Well, we already found our voltage. This is actually going to be our EO value of 7,967 volts divided by, now for impedance, since this current right here is in series with two loads, we're going to have to add these together to get that equivalent current. So Z is actually going to be the sum of both. So that's going to be 25 plus J 11.4 ohms. Okay, we punch this in our calculator using complex math. We come up with IN is going to equal 290 amps at a phase angle of negative 24.5. Now really quick, you're going to notice in the answers, we only have magnitudes. So for our convenience, and this is a 4, for our convenience, we can forget about the phase angle for now and only deal with the magnitude. Okay, that means this IN value right here is going to be equal to 290 amps. Okay, now, so the problem is asking for the terminal voltage. I'm going to draw a dashed line right here. We know that everything on the left side of the dashed line is going to be internal to the generator itself. right? This part of the diagram, we're looking at one phase of the internal winding of the generator. 
That's our generated voltage, and that's our synchronous reactance per phase. Now, everything on the right side of this dashed line is going to be external to the generator, and it's going to be the load or the uh, electrical distribution system, the grid, what have you. So when we're asking for the terminal voltage up top here, we're really being asked, what is our load voltage? Right here, what voltage is our load going to see once it's connected? Now, before we continue, I just want to make sure you don't get thrown off. Terminal voltage, since it is a three-phase generator, we're going to want to find it in three-phase or line-to-line -line voltage. So keep that in mind as you solve this problem. All right, let's continue. So we want to find the voltage at this point across our load right here. How do we find that? Well, we already found our current as a series of these two impedances, right, with the voltage. So now that we know our current, we can find the voltage going through just the load resistor. So how to do that? So we'll start with what you know. Ohm's law says V equals to IR. In this case, we want to find the voltage of our load is going to equal the product of our phase current times our resistor. This is going to be our magnitude that we found of 290 amps times our load resistor impedance, which is 25 ohms. So we plug that in and we've got V load equals 7,250 volts. Now, since this is a three phase generator, we're looking at something like this. I'm going to draw the equivalent three phase circuit diagram just to give you a better idea since we've got the single phase circuit diagram already drawn out. Okay, so here we have all of the voltages and the internal reactances. Whoops. So we're looking for the terminal voltage would be between here and here or between any of those two phases and here, right? So this is actually going to be our terminal voltage, E. So how do we find that? Well, we just found our neutral voltage, right? We just found this right here to be 7,250 volts. So all we have to do is multiply our load voltage by square root 3. So we've got terminal voltage ET is going to equal square root 3 times our single phase load voltage. So that's going to equal square root 3 times 7,250 volts. And we come up with a final answer of terminal voltage equals 12.6 kV. So we look over here at our answers, and that means our answer is A. For 11.4 ohms per phase for our synchronous reactants up here, and 12.6 kV for our terminal voltage right here and better represented right here since this would just be the phase voltage. All right, that is it for this example on synchronous reactants and terminal voltage. For more PE practice problems and to try out our online review course, come see us at electricalpereview.com. See you soon.